Kaposi's sarcoma type neoplasm. Key features. It's a malignant proliferation of endothelial cells. It is caused by HHV8 or human herpes virus 8. It's a complication of AIDS and it presents as a characteristic purple lesion. Now let's see how we can remember these features. Starting with Kaposi's sarcoma, we'll give it a nickname. Kaposi starts with cap, so it will be a cap, a cap that you wear on your head or the cap that covers a pen. And here we have this little pen cap. Now what happens if you put this tight cap on your finger? Of course, it will cut off blood from this part and it will become purple. So now we know that Kaposi's sarcoma presents as a characteristic purple lesion. Now since we have cut off blood from this part, the cells in this part will scream saying, we need blood. And this will lead to proliferation of endothelial cells in an attempt to bring in more blood. So now we know that Kaposi's sarcoma is a malignant proliferation of endothelial cells. Alright, now we said that Kaposi's sarcoma equals a cap. It can be a cap that you wear on your head like this one. And what is a cap? A cap is a human hair piece, right? It's an accessory that humans wear on their hair. So remember, a cap is a human hair piece, which stands for human hair piece. But which type of human hair piece virus is it? If we look at the cap, it actually divides your head into two parts. And now your head kind of looks like the number eight, right? And that's also true for the pen cap. As you can see, it has divided your finger in the middle, and now your finger kind of looks like the number eight. So remember, a cap is a human hairpiece that makes your head or your finger look like the number eight. Now the final feature that we need to remember about Kaposi's sarcoma is that it's a complication of AIDS. Remember that AIDS is acquired immune deficiency syndrome. So we have a deficiency in the immunity, or we can say that the immunity is capped. It's not at its full potential, right? So this is how we can relate CAP or Kaposi's sarcoma to AIDS in which the immunity is capped. Now let's summarize the whole CAP story. When you put a tight pen cap on your finger, it becomes purple. And now it's screaming for more blood, which will lead to proliferation of endothelial cells because they will try to supply more blood to this part. Also remember that the cap is a human hair piece that makes your head look like the number 8, meaning that Kaposi's sarcoma is caused by human herpes virus 8. And finally, which disease presents with a capped immunity? Of course, AIDS. So Kaposi's sarcoma is a complication of AIDS. Now let's move on to the treatment of Kaposi's sarcoma. It's via surgical excision, radiation therapy, and chemotherapy. Now Kaposi's sarcoma commonly affects more than one area of the skin, so it has kind of metastasized without really metastasizing, and that's why we need to supplement with radiation therapy and chemotherapy. Now let's see how we can remember these. As we said, Kaposi's sarcoma cap equals cap, and the question will be, when do you wear a cap? The answer is, first, in surgery, whether you are the patient undergoing surgery or you are the surgeon yourself, a patient also wears a cap in chemotherapy, whether it's because they have lost their hair or as a cold cap. I don't know if you've heard of a cold cap, but some cancer treatments may cause complete or partial hair loss, and hair usually grows back once the treatment is complete. A cold cap is filled with ice or coolant and may reduce or prevent hair loss in some patients. Okay, so patients undergoing chemotherapy might wear a cap because of hair loss or as a cold cap. Another reason someone might wear a cap is to protect them from the radiation of the sun, right? So remember, when do you wear a cap? Surgery, chemotherapy, or radiation, meaning that the treatment for a cap is surgical excision, radiation therapy, and chemotherapy.